bonjour. Comment ça va? Je suis Crotalia, Binsem Monomedos de la Ponte, la Renaudou, de la Cour Imperial Monomedos de la Ponte. I am Queen Crotalia, Binsem Monomedos de la Ponte, the Hoodoo Queen of the Imperial Court, Monomedos de la Ponte, owner of Commodore's Conjure, the creators and founders of the annual Hoodoo Queen Conjure Fest, the proud owners of Conjure South, ConjureSouth.com, Conjure South Publications, and the Conjure South Hoodoo Institute of Traditional African American Conjure, Roots Work and Divination. Bienvenue, Sama Chien. Welcome to my channel. This is your free weekly Zodiac readings. Now, before we get into your free weekly Zodiac readings, I must ask of you, humbly, to please give this video a thumbs up, hit your subscribe button, leave a sweet, kind comment below, including your notification button, but most of all, share this video. I think I may have something very special for those of you that share. I have an idea of formulating. So anyways, please do that for me. It would mean a great deal. Merci. Before we get into the Free Weekly Zodiac readings, we have a couple of announcements. And when I tell you a couple, I'm in a couple, I want to hit them and keep it moving. So please listen up. The very first thing is this month's community service. Today is the last day to um, join. If you're gonna purchase the candle service or the kit, um, which we don't have many kits left at all. We only had, I think 20 the other day. I haven't checked, but I need to. Um, I don't think that we have 20 that were sold out at that today, but I will have to double check. Um, yes, I am so excited. And the reason why I'm so excited is because last week I conjured up Haijan and I spoke to him because every year I do my Haijan, um, community services in November. Last year, he was very resistant in, in, in helping out, but he brought 400,000 to the community at large, which was a huge blessing. Um, I went ahead, because this part of the year is when you have to build up. There are methods to um, mastering conjuring hoodoo. Um, and so this particular method, there is a buildup of clearing the roads so that he can move freely. So that's what we're doing, the road opening now. And so um, as I did that, I went ahead and reached out to Haijan and I asked, you know, will he come through? He was like, yes, I will come through for you. Um, you're going to have to do a lot of heavy lifting on your end, but I'm coming. I said, okay. I was blown away when I went outside yesterday and saw on the tree in front of my yard full of Haijan. And the whole time that I've been living here in Mobile, normally I have had to go out to get him, but he told me he was coming. He just didn't say that he was like going to be knocking on the door. See, a lot of y'all think it's just energy and energy is going to just how you feel. No. These are actual spirits. He is a spiritual essence of a person. Okay? And so, um, it's not just the herb. It is the consecration of that herb with his blood. The reason why this particular root is Haijan. Um, and so, it is growing all on my street. And I'm like, Wow. We haven't even got November yet, and like it's growing, they're blossoming, which means there's some mature roots um, and bulbs. Normally, I will do a hygiene mojo hand, or I would do the oil. Um, we'll see. I'm gonna converse with him and see which he prefers, and that's what I'm gonna do for you all. So, um, yes. I'm very excited about that. And I have another very clever idea that a lot of you would probably thoroughly enjoy. Um, so 
You need this road opening this month in order for him to move easily or, or more easier um, or more smoothly for next month. And then there's the one in December that shows up and shows out. But so there's that. Super excited. Get your community service tonight. I'll probably close down the community service at like 12 midnight more than likely tomorrow. The other thing is private spiritual work. There is, I don't have a whole lot of private spiritual work, but the spiritual work that I've had to do has been pretty major spiritual work. Um, and it has taken me a while to get all of it done. So all private spiritual work should be shipped out. If there are things to be shipped out, will be shipped out this week. I thank you for your patience and your kindness and your understanding. Some people don't know that like some of these workings take at least 21 days. It's not lighting a candle. Okay. Um, even like with the lamp services that I do, baby, I have to wait until those lamps are gone. Sometimes it's um, four or five days or sometimes it's longer than that. Sometimes it's three days, but it takes that. But it, it also depends on the worker and what that worker is going or growing through, which also has to be taken into account. Um, one big thing that a lot of people don't know because I literally show up for y'all all together always to the best of my ability is one of the lasting elders in my family transitioned like two weeks ago um and so i had to prepare for that and do things for that as queen of my lineage and take care of things um there's inheritance and things of that nature that has to also be addressed and handled as well so there's just a lot but nonetheless um all of my clients are so understanding and so amazing um but i got something really special for y'all as well so be on the lookout for your items um i also want to communicate y'all i have been so blessed i came into contact i will announce her later but um i have come into contact with a beautiful individual here in mobile who is re is helping me restructure my website my calendar and everything my babe is what i tell you this individual is so good okay good at what she does it is remarkable so Things with Conjure South Online are about to be so smooth, so easy when it comes to booking readings. There will never be another email sent between you or me ever again. You will have set reminders emailed to you. Um, oh my gosh, it's just remarkable. So be on the lookout for that as well. We do have some really big announcements that are coming up. Oh yes, yes, yes. The um, the Hoodoo Omen playing cards, those will be available in the next two weeks. I don't know if I'm going to do pre-orders or if I'm just going to go ahead and start selling them right on out. But um, a part of me is like, just go ahead and sell them right on out because they will be available then. Um, but I sort of like doing pre-orders to get, you know, just one little situation together and send it on out and then everyone gets their things at one time. But I don't know. We'll see how that whole situation goes down. But those will be available incredibly soon. So be on the lookout for those as well. Now, let's begin your free weekly zodiac readings. Now, as you know, I go from Capricorn to Sagittarius, Capricorn to Sagittarius. With that being said, you need to watch the whole zodiac readings because we're made up of more than one zodiac sign. We're made up of more than one element. So it's good to sort of know where your life sits in multiple spaces, all right? I will be using the spell oracle cards, which are already available. And today's free spell will be coming from Mama's Mojo. And we will be doing a protection floor wash. 
Let's begin. Capricorns. Capricorn, nous avons l'hiver. L'hiver. This card and the ancestors are communicating is in reverse, which says that this week is about action. There is no waiting, slowing down, hold up, pause. This says you've already done the groundwork, my baby. Put things into action. Put it into action. Prayer without work is dead. You have to do the work and the work has to be done now. So if there was a move that you were considering on making or a decision that needed to be made, this is the week to make that decision. This is the week to exercise whatever that is. Deco? And that's the card of winter. That was Capricorns. Aquarius. Aquarius, nous avons le cadeau reversé. This is the card of the gift reverse. This says that this week, there may be some uncertainty. There may be some things hidden, some things that you don't understand. This would be a week to get a reading because there's going to be some things that don't quite come to light. So this would be ideal for you to get a reading. If not, you need to do some type of working to clear your mind, to regain clarity. This also says, don't doubt your intuition. Don't doubt that hunch. All right. Really know what you know. If it don't feel right, it ain't right, my loves. If it doesn't feel right, it ain't right. And that is okay. Trust and know that and maneuver and move from that space. Pisces. Pisces, you get the card of Le Cheval. Um, this is the card of the horse. This says you need to trust the path you're on this week. Trust what you know. Know where you're going. Have a sense of clear direction. Make some clear decisions. Have some direction. Have some um, plans. Have some organization. But know where you're going and trust where you're going. You gotta have that bravery. Aries. Aries, you get the card of um, the crow's reverse. The crow's reverse communicates to you that this week, though we always need to protect ourselves, what this is telling us is there's no warnings here. There's nothing really that you need to look out for or be worried about. Lay those doubts, those worries, that burden, that stress to rest. Okay? That's what the this is what the ancestors are saying. They're saying, baby, it's okay. Relax. There's nothing to be worried about. Yes, you should always protect yourself. You should always be conscious in the spaces and places that you are in, but you don't have to build up a, a whole um sense of anxiety surrounding this. Okay? Merci. Après ça, Taurus, nous avons Ooh, le travail or le travail reversé. This is the card of the work reverse. This says this week you don't have to delve into that spiritual work. No, my baby. This says that work has been done. Your prayers have been made. Those seeds have been planted. Those seeds have been planted. There is no reason for you to light more candles and do more things in that way this says your solutions are mundane your problems will be mundane this week so you have to then look at who and or what is in your environment how they are moving how they are acting what they are doing are they working against or for you but when it comes to let me figure out oh my goodness i'm being blessed what is it it's mundane or i need to be blessed you need to do mundane work or where are the issues coming from it is mundane okay it could be environment or location all right and that is a thought and that is my taurus Gemini, nous avons le crab reversé. All right, the crab reverse. This says for you, um, it really speaks heavily to um, when I when I'm looking at it. It's funny because I immediately go to what the spirit 
and the omen of crabs are is what I initially go to. Um, but what this is saying is um, this space of distraction or high emotion or ego and all of that jazz. It says we got to have focus. All right. We need focus. We got to have focus. This week is about focus, about honing in that scattered energy, grounding ourselves and staying focused. Okay. It says that we may struggle with focus. It also communicates this space of this focus and this distraction can be quite emotional. So don't be in your feelings. All right. Don't be in your feelings, my loves. That was Gemini. Don't be in your feelings this week, Gemini. Don't be in your feelings. All right. That's going to distract you. Move with a logical mind. Now see. Alphonse. Cancers. Cancers, nous avons la poule. This is the card of the hen. And the card of the hen actually communicates self-nurturing, but also nurturing other spaces and places. But it is more of a thing of respecting your time, respecting the value of you. So you, if you're good to yourself, you can be good for others, if that makes sense. So that's what this card is saying. Take care of self so you can be good for other situations. Also, you need to check who is worth being catered or nurtured to is also a thing. So please make sure, Cancers, that you're really tapping into that space, um, that mother energy, that mother hen energy. D'accord? Merci. Upon ça, Leo. Leo. Leo, nous avons the storm. This communicated, there is something coming this week. It may be one situation. It may not be the whole week, but maybe a situation in the week that is seemingly a storm. <sighs> Prepare for the storm. Wear your boots. Wear your umbrella. You may say, well, Queen, how do I prepare for it? You really need to, and honestly, you can, you can pretty much guess spot on every time. You know what? I know the situation's coming up this week. It's going to be an argument. It's going to be a problem. Sometimes when the storm comes up, it also represents a space of loss. So you may end up losing something this week. And if that loss is there, don't fight it. Release it and learn from that loss. But it's a space of also even preparing for that. So recognize that a storm is coming. Prepare for it. Just because it's a storm don't mean you got to get wet. Where's your raincoat? Where's your boots? Where's your umbrella? Keep it moving. It ain't that serious. It's only a moment. Don't drag the storm from Monday to Sunday. No. Recognize it. Acknowledge it. Release it. Keep it moving. D'accord? Merci. Merci, Leon. Upon ça, Virgo, nous avons... The Eclipse Reverse. The Eclipse Reverse is a card of marriage. Or le mariage, représente l'engagement. This is that space of engagement, union. However, this is reverse. So this tells us for you, Virgos, there is separation. There is a, 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 an opposing of actions between you and something you considered whole, something you considered solid, something that you trusted in, something that was promised. This talks about promises being broken, vows being broken, um, things that you really um, had some weight in. So my thing is there's some separation there. It may be something you need to separate from. So if a situation comes up and it's like, do I need to remove myself from this? Do I no longer need to invest in this? Yes is the answer. Don't always take a separation or a release, not a loss, as a negative thing. Okay? So that's what we have in that space for my Virgos. Upon ça, 
Libra, nous avons tu. Tu is you. The card of tu is in reverse, which says that this week, instead of looking at what you're doing wrong, you need to check your team and your environment and the, and the things within your space because whatever is going on in your life has very little to do with you and has more to do with people in your space items in your space the space itself so it's about evaluating your team in evaluating those that you um consider um with you growing with you or assisting you check that thing okay and then accept it for what it is and move. Let me tell you something, my Libras. Listen. You can look at somebody else's situation and give them the best advice. But when you look at your own life and you're going through your own things, you ignore the advice that you would have given somebody else. Take your own advice. If you see somebody in your team, in your tribe, in your camp, not working out release let it go you're better than that don't waste time your time is valuable keep it in mind that's all that i'm saying that's all that i'm saying right okay scorpion scorpion nous avons le porteur we will see the potter reverse this says that this week your energy and your efforts are going to be in a space that doesn't quite align with your purpose. This communicates that you need to be very aware and clear about where you're going, why you're going there, what you're not going to engage in. If it doesn't align or elevate your purpose or where it is that you're supposed to be doing or your passion or even profession, whatever that is, you have to release it. You got to let that go. And you got to get back on the right path because the longer you spend playing in these other spaces, the, for, the less time you have to fulfill your purpose and what you were designed to fulfill. So don't be distracted. I'll just put it to you more simply. Don't be distracted with anything other than your greatness and elevation, not what could be, but what is. D'accord? Est-ce que vous comprenez? Hmm? Merci, merci. Après ça, Sagittarius, nous avons the summer reverse. The summer reverse is telling us that this week, we don't need to start anything new. It says that we really shouldn't be discovering new things. It says that we really should not be doing any kind of exploring. What this says is we need to go for what we know. Whatever has already been laid out, do that. Whatever has been planned, do that. Stick to that this week. This is not a week to um, create something that is, is, is not already in the plans don't jump off to something else new this is and y'all know we were sagittarius right so <laughs> that's not too difficult to do so we really need to hone our energy in with what we were doing last week drive that through there's things that we were doing last week that still need to be complete this week drive that through this week commit to those things this week make sure that we absolutely fulfill what we're supposed to do, what we're supposed to do this week but do not absolutely do not um begin something that has nothing to do with what has already been organized and planned okay merci merci thank you so much for watching your free weekly zodiac readings now let's get into your free spell your free spell again is from mama's mojo which is available on amazon as well as conjuresouth.com for um hoodoo heritage month we do have the queen of spades um 
an introduction to African American Conjure Rubric and Divination, Mama's Mojo, a woman's guide, and Pardon. Excuse me. And Bad Medicine. All right. Traditional crossings and fixings. We will be doing our protection floor wash from page 30. Of course, with Mama's Mojo and the Queen of Spades, I do heavily tell you to use my product. Not because it's the best product in the world. But anyways, um, what I'm saying is this. A lot of people think you can just mix herbs together and now this is an oil. You can mix herbs together and now this is a dirt or whatever. That's not how it goes, and that's incredibly dangerous. I mention to you this often. A lot of y'all think that cinnamon is the money be all when cinnamon is not your friend, but is actually your frenemy. That's why you still have money problems. But y'all don't want to hear that, though. We're going to talk about that today. So go to Mama's Mojo to page 50. I mean, excuse me, page 30. Excuse me. And it's your protection floor wash. You do not have to use my oil, but to use a fix oil from a professional worker is what you need to do. And by professional worker, I don't mean a country manufacturing company. Nope, I'm not talking about your Hulu home goods. Nope, I'm not talking about your Hollywood hoodoo. I'm not talking about your um, maybe mojo um situation i'm not talking about your arts and craft michaels um conjuring that's not what i'm saying i'm seeing going to a traditional worker a family that has been in this that has the credentials they can show you the receipts etc is where you need to be when you're using these oils all right and if you don't have these oils remember you always have sugar salt pepper candle and water which you can do whatever. And I will give you the substitute for that, all right? And you really don't need to substitute for it because the ingredient is already in here. So this working allows your home to be protected. Any enemy's name that goes into this wash will be repelled. Um, you will be protected from them, this person. Now, in this working, I do tell you to use a petition, not because we traditionally use petitions, because we didn't. Um, however, I know many of you are like, petition, 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 put your writer on, what your writer on, whatever. Traditionally, that's not how it goes down. You would have actually put something of that person's in that pot, in that water, as you um, did your working. So, here we go. Things you will need. A mop bucket, water, crushed red pepper, cayenne pepper, black pepper, and lemon. A petition, write your enemy's name on it, or something of theirs can go into it. And then, Comedos Conjure um, Repelling Oil. Well, if you don't have my repelling oil, it's okay. You're already using some black pepper, which can repel. So you don't have to use that oil if you don't have it. Remember, we do not limit our magic here. Our ancestors did it, and neither will you. Place your enemy's name into the mop bucket, adding crushed red pepper, cayenne pepper, black pepper, and lemon along with the water. Add um, to the bucket nine drops of repelling oil. Place all of this together, and you're going to pour your enemies out at the end of your driveway, walkway, porch, um, and sweep outward. So you take all of this, and you pour at the end of your driveway, walkway, sidewalk, pour out, and you sweep outward. If you live in an apartment, okay, um, and you cannot sweep onto the road, just make sure you sweep it off the property in some shape, way, form, or fashion. Um, do not put this in your backyard. It doesn't say that, but I'm telling you, don't pour it out in your backyard. Um, if you live on the second floor, um, just sweep it into until it's not in front of your door anymore. If that's an issue, go to a sidewalk in front of your house, pour the mixture out, and sweep it to oncoming traffic. Okay, and that is in Mama's Mojo again, available on Amazon as well as ConjureSouth.com. My babies, I thank y'all so very much. I will be doing a lot of work this week in preparation for this road opening lamp service. And then next month, we bring it in, we bring it in, we bring it in, we bring it in. All right, my loves, 
Many blessings, y'all. Be good. I will see you next time. Okay? Merci beaucoup. Um, I'll be able to. Au revoir.